Already three city challenge Black Dust Cloud, Cascade Arsenal, One Shot, and Shoot Swarm. One Shot's fine, Cascade Arsenal's not, because even though One Shot would be perfectly fine with Thumpers, it's not exactly fine with Cascade Arsenal. I mean, One Shot's fine with Cascade Arsenal, we've got a shotgun and we've got a sniper, that's perfectly fine. But unfortunately, a would be Thumper would not be. Mainly because a Thumper is not a weapon on a Cascade Arsenal. And aside from that, we have Shoot Swarm, which it really doesn't matter if we can just use a sniper and immediately do that to a juggernaut, or use a shotgun and, well, with one pellet deliver, essentially the same thing to a normal unit. Things do not seem alright over here. That's not very promising, but I'm going to turn back over there to actually focus on my side while Cyber presumably takes care of that one unit, which so far is what's happening. So we're just gonna ignore that, and well, use the shotguns a lot to try and essentially just counteract this being a problem. In that it shoots swarm, and well, it's still one shot, but then again, one shot does a lot more damage, and with a shotgun, it's quite effective. That's two units. Simultaneously, but sure. Still not really feeling great about this over here, could, could we not do this, really? Why do I have to hit it this well? But you know what, we'll go through here, we'll just ignore it for the most part. And then, well, hopefully all goes well from here on out. That's the plan at least. That's hopefully how it'll go. I'm gonna place a breach charge here first. And then Cyber will presumably drop me one as soon as possible. Or maybe I'll get a C4 instead, who knows. So we'll just wait here, and since it's one shot, we should do fine for the most part, just as long as we don't get overwhelmed. Speaking of not getting overwhelmed, we'll just continue staying here, and well, there should be one more squad, which... That's hilarious. This is why wallbanging is useful, and that's not something I had in mind today. Right then, just gonna back off a bit because there's one more unit over there. And well, we're just going to continue using wallbanging since, well, it's a sniper. And that's kind of how that works. So regardless, we're just going to wait here, and we should be fine for the most part, since it's not something like reinforced stores where that's going to take an absurd amount of time. And then subsequently, more units are going to show up. So essentially, what I'm trying to say is, hopefully no one else shows up, and we'll probably do just fine. I would still very much like that breaching charge though, but regardless, we're going to go through here once this is completely done. So we can just listen out for it, and then we can run through here, through here, turn real quick over here, and then well, I mean, we could just use a breaching charge here, mess with Cyber a bit. Now I'd like the two breaching charges please, that would be absolutely fantastic, mainly because I need them later, and then well, we could try, or we could just go downstairs and completely ignore whatever's in there. Because it's still one shot, and getting an FI7 won't really be helpful either, so... We could always take this time, get a few medkits, and well, see what's over there. There's Thermite there, and there's a medkit there, and there's probably a squad coming after me here, but regardless... Well, I mean, I guess the medkit's always useful. That's not promising. None of this is promising, now that I think about it, actually. Cyber, we should genuinely consider going through here. I mean, that's the entire squad, but sure, we'll just go through here, go upstairs real quick, not encounter, that's... Not really what I had in mind today, but sure, we could always just use a lot of wall banging to... I'm realizing right now that I should just be going out through here. I have no idea why I've decided to go through there, but... Cyber, a little help would be nice here. I'm not gonna climb up there when I'm immediately gonna get shot, that's... Well, I suppose that works. Absolutely not. Now, just so that I don't get shot by Cyber, I'm just gonna wait here for... Never mind. I guess that works too. And that's an S97 that's most definitely in the ground, which... Sure, I guess. Hello there. I mean, I guess that works. It's just not really... Excuse me. It's just not really what I had in mind. But that's 5 S97s and that's 
unfortunately, really, and that's unfortunately the S97 and better in the ground gone, which is a bit unfortunate for sure, but we'll do fine. That's a lot of the same colored hair, but regardless, it doesn't really matter. Do not try and dodge this, that's actually a joke. Right then, a lot of S97s regardless were counting, well, three or four scores of S97s in a row, which I guess is absolutely hilarious, but also still not what we had in mind. Now, I should be getting a few free mech kits later on by, well, just going over there and meeting the Juggernaut, but then again, the Juggernaut did go down a bit. And the resources did fly a bit. Can I wallbang this, please? Can I not be wallbanged, please? Right then, we're just going to absolutely ignore all of them, since that's clearly against my best interest to deal with. Mainly because there's an entire very, very angry squad there. And presumably, they want me dead. I wonder why that's the case. Let's just heal up real quick. Let things calm down for a bit. Flee over here. And just use a screwdriver to go downstairs, whilst that squad presumably catches up with me. Or go somewhere else, which... Quite bluntly, would be much, much more ideal. But also quite clearly will not happen. So we're gonna face this breaching charge, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna plant one over here and one downstairs, then, well, we've got two mechits left and we'll probably do just fine. There's units right above, could you kindly just stop here? Fantastic. We won't need that. We don't have a jug. We don't have a saw blade, nor do nor will we get one from a juggernaut, presumably. So we're just going to. I mean, that's one squad clear, and that's even more S nine sevens, which is a bit absurd, but I suppose it works. Now, if I were to, I need that bag. Now that I think about it, and I need to actually go back inside, which means that I should probably open a door, which I most definitely did not do. Quite unfortunately. It's fine, we could always just drop the back later. But unfortunately, now I have to wait a bit for my sprint to regenerate. And now that we're done with that, we'll run through here. Continue holding the gun out. Make sure we don't get shot too many times, which is generally still a good thing. Then we can just go through here. Watch out a lot for units over there, which, I mean, there's not a lot we can do about it, but we can still be aware of it and hope for the best, essentially. And then we can go back through here. Hopefully not have an entire squad spawn there whilst I'm low on sprint. And as I get shot even more times, let things calm down for a bit. Because I do not want to deal with this, and presumably I'm getting more units near me relatively soon. Which is always exciting, so we'll just... We'll just run this way, since evidently that's the best method here. Then we'll go over here, plant one over here, and I presume Cyber could just get... Well, that's not exactly great, is it? But presumably Cybers, I'm not dealing with that. I'm sorry, but no. And I'm realizing it's actually still one shot, so I probably shouldn't be anywhere near there for what I'm trying to do. So I actually, well, stay alive. Which means I'll be joining Cyber here to actually just take care of the Onyx unit this way with a lot of... Right, it's still one shot, and the Onyx unit isn't exactly a gunship, so that's the daily challenge only just under 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Cheers everyone, have a great time!